In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to create your own slideshow video manually without using the slideshow creator. I had a query from someone who said they did not like the templates in the slideshow creator. They want something that was more simple and they also wanted to use their own music tracks as part of the creation process, not simply one track. So let's look at how you can create your own slideshow. Step number one is you have to have the particular graphics you want. So I have quite a few here in my media room. So I'm going to highlight one and then move across several of them and hold the shift key and click the other one and then I'll drag this subset right down into track number one. Now if I want to change the duration of these make sure I have them all highlighted. I can do control A and I click on the duration button. Right now there are five seconds. I could change it to any number of seconds and frames I want. Let's say I want it three seconds and let's make it 15 frames which in my case would be half a second. And now I've just changed them totally. I can also change any one if I want it to linger on any. I click on a single slide and then I can click on duration and I can alter this to maybe uh, 215. And this one will be shorter. So I have my slideshow and I've adjusted if I want to the duration of any of the slides. The next is to bring my transitions in. So step two, I go to my transition room with the F8 key or the I click on the icon with the lightning bolt. And when I'm there, I can pick from all the transitions, all content. This gives me a whole host of options. Or I can select a subcategory here. I can also click on the blue right arrow to, to take a subcategory. And it tells me how many I have in that category to pick from. And so here, let's take these six. If I want to use these six randomly, how do I do that? Well, I click on any one. It doesn't matter which one. And then I click on the icon. When I hover over it, it's the lightning bolt. And it says, apply random transition effect to all videos. I click on that, and I have four options. Prefix transition applies it only at the beginning of the first video. Postfix applies it only at the end of the last video. So that if I click prefix right now, it simply adds one transition here. Click again. If I do postfix and click this, it does a transition out of the last one. Doesn't matter which one. If I click this video and do cross, I'll get a cross transition on every other video except the first and last. And here I have a unique transition on all of them. The other option I have, I'll do control Z to get out of it, is a click on here and I can do the overlap. And notice the overlap actually changes the length of the video production. We have a tutorial explaining the difference between those two. I tend to prefer the cross option, so I'll control Z out of that, and now we'll click here and do cross. Here I have, when I hover over the transition, it gives me the name. I have granulate, collapse, blizzard, windshield left, collapse, blizzard, dissolve, blizzard, dissolve, collapse, etc. So it randomizes my transitions. This will give me more variety in my particular situation. So they don't all look alike. There are some other things that you can do that are somewhat interesting. I'll control Z out of this again. If I don't want all of these to be options, I can right click on the ones I don't want to use and say hide in library. Let's do that to three of them, for example. I'll hide these in the library. And then when I click hold on any one and use the same tool for a cross transition, it will only pick from the three it happens to see. And so it randomizes them and it adjusts it. So this is how you have some control over the ones it picks. If I want to change any of them, all I need to do is drag and drop it and it will replace the one that was there originally. 
Let's see, that was the same one. Now it replaced it. Or I could actually go back to any place in my, uh, let's take the alpha transitions, and I can drag this one down and replace it. I can take this one down and replace it. There's another option you have if you don't want to vary your transitions. If you want them uniform between all of the uh, slides in your slideshow, uh, I can click on any transition anywhere. Now I click on the second button. If I hold my mouse, it says apply a fading transition to all videos. And I have the same options. I can apply it to the first video only, or the first slide only, the last slide only, I can apply it uh, as a cross transition to all of them except first and last or an overlap. I'll take the cross and now I have, if I hold my mouse over the icon of the transition, a simple fade from slide to slide to slide. So there it slot fades in and out. Next one fades in and out. So if you want, all you want is a fade, that's the one that you use. I haven't found a way to overwrite that so I could make it universally something else, but it, I can make it a fade in this case. So we'll stop there. And so those are some ways in which you can change the transitions as you build your slideshow. Last step in the slideshow is going to be some sound. So we go back to our media room and we go down to the area where we have our music and we can take that and we can drop it on any music track we prefer and put it in place here in our production. And now when we play it, we will see the transition and we will also hear the music as it moves from one slide to another to another in our project. So this is a, a way of building your own slideshow with your own preferences rather than using the slideshow creator.